the top 10 trending skincare poll. <laughs> it's, I always find it so hard to say that, but this week's category is gel cleansers. Not one of my personal favorite cleansing categories, but probably one of the more popular ones generally, I think. Let me know if you've got any feedback on any of these products. I'm always like keen to hear how like you guys experience um, this list. I'll go from the products from 10 to one with one being the most popular. The results are public voted. They just come from my Instagram page where I run like a story poll once every week or so. I think gel cleansers as a category have probably become a little bit blended in terms of their texture. So some of them lean a little bit creamy, some of them are foaming, some of them are non-foaming. So this list doesn't really discriminate in that way. It's just whatever people felt was a gel, that's what was voted for. So just keep that in mind as we go through this list. Number 10 on the list is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cleanser. Um, this is one that I actually haven't used, but a lot of people DM'd me after the fact saying that it's the best cleanser they you know, that they've ever tried and I think that's a that, that's a great thing we always want to see awesome options coming out of the drugstore so after seeing this on the list I will need to pick it up myself but no thoughts otherwise let me know if you've tried it number nine on the list is another drugstore option it's the Bioderma Sensibio Gel Moussant Moussant <laughs> I think is how you say it this one I'm personally a huge fan of definitely one of my favorite products around especially considering the price point it's just such an excellent like pretty stock standard cleanser texture like gel with a lather kind of vibe but it feels very protective and does such a good job of cleansing without stripping I'm very very impressed I think the actual Sensi Bio line as a whole product collection is really up there as one of the best kind of peak product options in pharmacies. Number eight on the list is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser. I'm generally not the biggest fan of CeraVe. I kind of feel like they're popular because of the amount of investment they put into advertising with dermatologists. I don't think many people would like voluntarily use CeraVe and let, you know, without that kind of endorsement from professionals. Not that CeraVe is a bad brand. I just don't see them as somebody that puts much effort into the sensoriality of products. Um, and I feel like brands like Bioderma actually put a lot more effort into invention. Um, having said that, of their range, this SA smoothing cleanser makes a lot of sense because of the salicylic acid component. And that, of course, you know, is something good to look out for if you've got congestion, breakout prone skin. So definitely nothing wrong with CeraVe. I just wish they were a little bit more inspired with their products, basically. But yeah, that's just me being a little bit shady. <laughs> Number seven on the list is the Ordinary Glucoside Foaming Cleanser. This is another one that is sort of very stock standard and I, I understand why it would be popular because it is that traditional gel cleanser format that kind of lathers. For me, it's a little bit too basic, a little bit too pared back. I'm a big fan of the, of the Ordinary Cream Cleanser. Not as much this one. Again, not because it's bad, just because it's a bit boring. Number six on the list is the Allies of Skin Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser, if I've said that in the right order. Um, I think I've used this before it was reformulated and I'm not sure if it underwent a full reformulation or just like a tweak. Um, the texture was really nice, a little bit more of a unique experience. Um, I just found the original scent a little bit unpleasant. I don't know if that has changed at all, but I know that this actual cleanser is beloved by a lot of people because it is more of an interesting cleansing experience. So no real thoughts because I haven't used the update, but let me know what your feeling is on the old one versus the newer one. Number five on the list is the GoTo Juicy Gel. This is a pretty new release for GoTo and I'm actually a big fan of it. It has this loose like jiggly gel texture that almost feels like bouncy and fluffy in a way. I find it to be super hydrating but also quite purifying. It lathers really effectively. The only kind of note that I have for it is that I'm not a big fan of the fragrance. It's almost like cucumber but herbal and you know just a little bit too like plant extract but like you've walked into like a bush um so yeah not my favorite scent that's around um luckily it doesn't linger so the actual scent doesn't bother me um some people might even enjoy it it kind of reminds me of the fresh soy scent but just amped up in a way um yeah so i would love to hear feedback on this and if the fragrance is like is like a positive or a negative in your eyes Number four on the list is the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker. So this is a brand out of Europe that has sort of brought out a whole line of very affordable products. 
with a lot of like science focused, you know, traditional ingredients. This cleanser is quite interesting. It's a very thick gel, but non-foaming. So you can kind of work it on your skin for days and it just won't lather or foam, but of course cleanses properly. I really loved using this when I first got it, but over time I sort of realized that having a textural shift in a cleanser is something that I enjoy having. So I stopped reaching for it regularly, but I think it's a great option, especially if you're looking for a non-foaming cleanser. Number three on the list is the Jordan Samuel Skin, the Matinee Gel Cleanser. This is also a fairly thick gel texture and it doesn't really lather or foam up, or at least I haven't noticed it doing that very much. Um, I would consider this a fairly stock standard gel cleanser. It's just that they've refined the texture just that little bit more. So the feeling and the cleansing experience is a little bit more interesting than some of the other options on this list, but otherwise very much works like a standard basic gel cleanser, just elevated a touch more. Number two on the list is the Naturium Niacinamide Cleansing Gelée. Now, I'm a big fan of Naturium. If you followed me for a while, you will know that. This is one of the products that doesn't really work out that well for me. For some reason, whenever I use it, I get like a prickly feeling on my skin. Um, so not to say it's a bad product, it's just not compatible with my skin for some reason. And it's definitely not the Niacinamide. I've used all of their other Niacinamide products with no issue. There's just something else in this cleanser that causes that sensation. Having said that, I have recently started Started integrating their new vitamin C cleanser which is also a gel format that one I like a lot more and it has a little bit of an enzymatic approach to it which makes it all the more interesting to me at least number one on the list is prequel Glenzer. so no real surprises this has been a huge hit ever since it came out sadly it's still only available in the United States but hopefully they will expand internationally in the near future this is a glycerin rich cleanser that you can use both face and body fragrance free it's been approved for rosacea and eczema so just a lot of great things going for it super hydrating cleanses really well but also feels like it's leaving like this protective quality on the skin so I'm a big fan of it I even have a dedicated video talking about it um, although I tend to prefer this as a body wash rather than a face cleanser but it's just one of those all-in-one awesome products to have Personally speaking, I tend to prefer gel cleansers that have a little bit of a twist to them. So something like the Saatchi Skin Saffron Cleanser has a really unique property, texture, even ingredient story. And even something like the Cypher Cloud Melt, which is a little bit of a cream leaning gel texture, but has a lot of acids and other ingredients in there. So when I gravitate towards a gel cleanser, it's usually because it has something extra, not, not just like a lathering cleansing effect but I understand why gel cleansers are popular. They are very much that utility style product, you know, just clean your face and move on. So, and I very much believe in everybody having a skincare wardrobe where there's like some days you just want utility, some days you might want more sensoriality um, and all of that together, you know, forms a well-rounded skincare routine. So yeah, that's the end of the list. Thank you for hanging out with me to go through it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. What was this? I don't know. <laughs>